today we have a 2013 BMW 528i. We'll be replacing the trunk lock actuator. So first thing we're gonna do is get the trunk open. So we're gonna go back here in the back seat, take this off here, just pull the handle, it'll come right out. And then with, um, well, I have a Slim Jim, but pretty much with any long tool, we're gonna go there and get that handle. Um, I did have to knock it off, that little uh, top part there where it holds it. Just an extra step, but once we do it, just pull it open, and now we can go get to the trunk and get to the actuator. All right, guys, now that we have the trunk open here, we're gonna get to the actuator. So, with the Phillip head, you're gonna remove about, I think, let's see, eight. These little push pin things here, just screw it out. Oops, dropped it. Just screw it out and pop it off. Four in the front, two right here, and then two on each end here, and then we're also gonna go ahead and just remove this, just so we have more room to manipulate this cover here. Oh, dang. All right, so now we're gonna pull down on this, just go over these little stoppers here. All right, and now we expose the actuator right here. So let's go ahead and work this out, unplug it, and uh, also remove the cable and get ready to put a new one in. So after a little time, we're able to get this actuator out. You just pretty much um, use the flathead, just push these little flared out parts of the grommet here inward and push it up. So it goes through the holes there, all three of them. So go ahead and unplug this right there. But then we're also going to remove the actual cable itself from the latch. So we're gonna follow it. You see it goes all the way through here, back around. So the T30, let's remove this, kind of expose this so that we can get to this cable here. All right, now once we remove those T30s, just push back on this, angle it outward. You can unplug it if you like. Uh, I believe we will have it removed, so there we are. So let's go ahead and remove this cable here. Let's just take it off from there, loop it out, and then we'll run it out. But also before I do that, I'm gonna tie a string here so that when I get the new one in, I can just bring it back. So let's do that. All right, cable's attached. I have my little piece here to help guide it. So now let's just run it out. You probably need to manipulate this a little more because I didn't use like an actual string. I used, you know, uh, I might unlock tools right now. But yeah, so we're just gonna keep working this out, working it out, and then uh, get ready to put the new one in. So I've got my actuator removed here. Uh, I like to go ahead and match everything up, make sure it's the same. Um, this is obviously upside down, so it should be that way. Um, my cable matches up, so that's great. This one actually came with a new one, it matches in here. Uh, cable's about the same length, so now we're gonna go ahead and run this cable back through here, attach it to here that I have, and run it back to the back. All right, so as you can see, I have my cable here. Just gonna finish pulling it through, and then pretty much I'm just gonna plug this in and then put the grommets back into the holes. Um, pretty much we're almost done on, with that end and we can finish up this end. Uh, also, you know, if you guys wanna go a step further, I mean, like, just like skip steps uh, when doing things, you know, as much as I can, especially since I have that little thing to pull the cable, you can actually remove the tail light here, or, you know, one of these here on the lid and it'll actually give you room to like, you know, put your hand in from either end of outside the trunk or inside the strong head cable but I mean if you run a rope you can literally just get it through just running it in so let's go ahead and get this together and then we'll put this cable in all right so so my actuator is in plugged up um, pulled these through I had to use a pair of uh, new nose pliers just kind of keep yanking it down to this little flared portion goes through but pretty much it goes in uh, ran my cable all the way through here now so pretty much we're gonna run it through there and then go there and then clip it right in. All right, so after I ran that cable in, um, you probably noticed I ran it through here. I'm supposed to run it through here so this can go back in. But at least I showed y'all how to get it back. So went ahead and bolt this back in, T30s. So now before we actually close this all up, let's just double check to make sure this thing actually works. So I'm just gonna trip this, make it think that's closed. I'm gonna hit the trunk button. Boom. So now we're all good. We're just gonna close this all back up, putting those little push pin tabs back, and we're done. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe. More videos to come.